Hello and back guys to Big Stevie Cool 1872 and today on the channel we're here to talk about two things Rangers returning to I was going to say competitive action returning to on pitch action in the Netherlands training camp of course taking on standard low edge um, and then we've also got the small matter of a goalkeeper leaving our ranks but don't worry it's not the one that we uh, care about <laughs> not that none of us care about Robbie McCrory but here let's may as well talk about Robbie McCrory to start us off I mean, five games. It is quite sad that Robbie McCrory just mustered five games for Rangers Football Club. And you know what? I think he'd done his pride in all those five games, to be honest. P I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure... The only, what goal? What was the only game he can see that goal in? It wasn't many, man. The guys... I think the guys played two old firms and won both of them. I mean, that's a pretty good record, considering how bad our recent record is. Obviously, the fee is undisclosed. I'm not too sure how much that's going to set us back or set Kelly back, but, you know, I know there's a lot of debate out there about, well, what was the point of getting rid of McCrory, you're bringing in Kelly, we've made profit, and for me, Kelly just edges it over McCrory just due to the fact he's a bit more experienced, and, you know, he's, he's played the more games, even though, yo, like I said, McCrory hasn't really put a foot wrong in his five games, but to make a bit of slight profit and improve the goalkeeping and position while you're doing it, I think it makes a bit of sense to make that move, but of course, who's he joined? He's joined Kilmarnock, all right, and I think I think that's a good move for uh, for Kilmarnock. I think it's a good move for him. Um, their number one goalie, of course, went back to Bournemouth after his loan finish. So, all in all, I think it suits all parties. Um, I wish Robbie McCrory the best. No hard feelings here for Big Stevie. Um, you know, as a player, like I said, didn't really put a foot wrong. Shame, never really got a proper go at it. But I'm sure he'll get a proper go at it at Rugby Park. Just don't be, just don't be keeping clean sheets against Rangers next season, son. And Big Stevie will still think you're a good man. But let's move on. Speaking of clean sheets, uh, we're talking about stands at low edge nil, Rangers nil, or Rangers nil stands at low edge nil. Doesn't really matter now. This game, the highlights were posted to Rangers TV. Uh, not that there was much floating about, but we did see the likes and then Salah make his debut. We saw the likes of Connor Barron make his debut, Cortez make his re debut, so to speak, since we've re signed them on loan. But we did see a lot of players that we thought would be leaving the club feature, we saw Desser start the game, we saw Scott, Scott Wright in there, Connor Goldson among others, but what I would say is, we didn't see Tavernier, which I mean it doesn't really mean anything right, but what I would say is, you know, it was just refreshing not to see like Lundstrom, Barisic, and I like Jack, but Jack's name in there, among a few others that have been released, you know, it's refreshing to get a bit of new blood in, there was a lot of youth in there, I get it, right guys, it's a it's a pre-season friendly against Stand at Low Edge. It doesn't boast much for the season go ahead. But like I say, it's still it's still refreshing to see that, you know, first match day of the season against Hearts. Would I be surprised if I saw Connor Goldson and James Tavernier starting? Probably not. You know, it's a nil-nil game. There's not much to read into it. It's all about getting fitness back. You know, if you get pumped 4-0 or win 4-0, does it really change anything? As we see something. I mean, we see look at last season's pre-season, man. It was absolutely horrendous. You know, getting scudded like 3 1 by Olympiacos. It just looked off for the get go. And hopefully, um, this season, you know, I think, you know, I think the, I think a recipe for a for a, a good season is a good start. You know, you don't want to be playing catch up. And, you know, I'm not going to be making excuses about the whole Ibrox debacle and everything that's happened there. Um, obviously, it sets us back. I think it more sets us back in terms of Europe, but I get it. It's a club that sets us back because you won't be getting the Champions League money. If it goes tits up, as the rain is beginning to fall here. Uh, did I stick the hood up? Or did I, I get on with it? But, uh, I don't know. I don't really know what to do. But, that's where we're going to leave this video. Of course, the competitive season has started. I mean, I think once these Champions League qualifiers have um, begun, this is the new season and the transfer window. So, yeah, everybody, enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Um, of course, got few games on tonight, Champions League games, but I think everyone's more focused on England Holland, aren't they? So that'll be an interesting one. We'll see a match with you for that. Check it out. If you want to see more thoughts on this game, check out Fog Football. If you want to see a match day vlog next week, midweek, gonna go to a Premier Sports game. Don't know which one, but uh looking forward to it nonetheless. So check out Fog Football. That'll be uploaded over there because this is the Rangers channel and over there. It's a joint promotion with Son of Scotland where we talk about the Scottish team, so yeah, should be a rare laugh. Till next time, leave us in below and peace.